One of my favorite objects in the archives is this 1973 footage recorded by the Seattle Engineering Department documenting the city's Operation Triangle initiative. Public green space has been a topic that the Emerald City has routinely revisited over the years. Trees and greenery are aesthetically pleasing and aid in combating air pollution and climate change. As public attitudes towards the environment shifted in the late 1960s, open space planning and investment gained momentum. Americans started placing a higher value on recreation and healthy living conditions. During the 1970s, most open space acquisition in King County was funded by Forward Thrust, a public works bond package approved by voters in 1968. These funds supported public space projects such as the New Seattle Aquarium, construction of new recreational facilities, and improvements to scenic drives and parks. Operation Triangle was one such improvement to rejuvenate Seattle's street scene. The city's crazy quilt street grid includes hundreds of street triangles, selections of which were landscaped into islands of green space. It is a long-range urban beautification program jointly financed by the city and private sources, coordinating the efforts of private individuals, businessmen, community groups, garden clubs, City of Seattle departments, and skilled professionals in improving scores of street triangles in Seattle through low-maintenance landscaping. The concept was originally proposed and drafted by the Women's Division of Seattle Chamber of Commerce. According to Operation Triangle Chairman Kathleen B. Nelson, In 1965, concerned Seattle Chamber of Commerce volunteers and city officials sat down to devise a program to bring the professional and public planting amateur into a working partnership. Operation Triangle, coordinated by the Chamber's Seattle Beautification Committee in cooperation with City Engineering, emerged. Operation Triangle Mini Parks won various awards for their design and innovation. The film footage features a variety of Operation Triangle locations before, during, and following landscaping efforts. Of particular note is the Triangle Park at the intersection of 4th Avenue, Olive Street, and Stewart Street, the centerpiece of which is a 35-foot sequoia tree. The tree was relocated to the park from city property at Aurora Avenue and Broad Street. At the time, it was 30 feet tall and given 4 to 1 survival odds because of the anticipated replanting shock. The tree's root ball was originally pruned and prepared to be moved out of the way for the proposed Bay Freeway. However, the proposal was rejected by voters in 1972, rendering the tree temporarily displaced. The site planners believed a mature tree would fit best with the high walls of surrounding architecture. The Triangle Park was named in honor of John M. Jewett, a longtime Seattle businessman, founding member of the Seafair Commodores and first Seattle Chamber of Commerce president, who passed away in 1971. Work on the John M. Jewett Memorial Triangle began in November 1972 and was completed in March 1973. Mayor Wes Allman, city officials, Seafair Commodores, Jewett's family, and Seattle Chamber of Commerce members participated in ceremonies for the groundbreaking, tree replanting, and memorial site dedication in 1973. To learn more about Operation Triangle, Forward Thrust, or view additional archival footage from the Engineering Department, please visit seattle.gov slash cityarchives. Mm -hmm.